Hello, my name is Philip and Saudi Aramco have invited me here today to talk to you about the various respirators that you may have been issued with. I would like to ensure you at the very outset that all of them are very, very effective indeed and you should have no worries. I would like to start my talk by looking at the canisters which are displayed at the front of the desk. They may be green, they may be blue, they may indeed be black. They are all the same and they were made specifically for defence against the various war agents. When you take up a canister, you should first examine it for any surface cracks or damage. Then unscrew the thread protector and immediately discard. At the front of the canister, you will find a dust bung. This also should be removed. If when removing you notice a vacuum and air being sucked in, this is quite normal. Some of the canisters you may find, even when unscrewing the thread protector, they may well be a diaphragm underneath. This could be easily overlooked. If there is a diaphragm underneath, please remove it and once again discard it along with any other type of dust bung that may be present. Now I would like to talk to you about the various respirators. There are basically three types that have been issued. The first type is the harness type respirator for which there are three look-alikes. These were based on the Draeger German respirator, a first-class respirator and very well proven. The second type of respirator is based on the hood respirator to provide the head with full protection. Once again, a first-class respirator in use in Eastern Europe. Finally, we have the specialist respirator, the child's respirator. And at this point, I would like to draw your attention to the end of the hose, which when you open, you will see has a diaphragm inside. This is there purely for protection during storage and must be removed instantly. Simply gently ease it out to ensure that the hose is open and free. I would now like to talk about fitting the child's respirator. To start with, the parent should check that the respirator and all its packing has been removed, including the diaphragm at the end of the air hose. Secondly, it would be wise to check inside the respirator to make sure that all the packing material has been removed. To help me with this demonstration, I've got Pfizer. Hello, Pfizer. We've talked about this earlier, and I believe it very important to introduce children to this item very gradually. And earlier on today, she's had chance to hold it, to examine it, and to look at it. And we've even played with pulling the elastic and pulling the hose a little bit. We've discussed how to put it on, and the method is as follows. First of all, the thumb is placed inside the harness on the right-hand side with the other thumb on the left-hand side. We can then pull the harness to make a large opening. The chin goes in the bottom of the harness and the respirator is then put over the head rather like a hood. Are you ready, Pfizer? Yes. There we are then. Remember to pull it. The chin goes into the bottom and over the head like a hood and the parent now can finally adjust the harness. Are you comfortable in there? Yeah. The position of the eyes should be midway in the lenses. Would you like to blow through the hose? Fine, a nice strong sound. I'm now going to fit the canister and I believe it very important that the canister should be introduced slowly. As before, we must make sure that on the front, the dust bung is removed. Also on the other side, that the thread protector is removed. An examination of the canister, no loose particles, no blockage. Are you ready, Pfizer? 
take hold of the end of the hose and gradually begin to screw the canister in. How are you doing inside? Good. The general idea must be to give the child confidence and not to frighten them. Okay? Mm. Fine. The canister now is at full tightening, just hand tight, no more. I'm going to ask Pfizer now to take it, and one of the precautions you must stress on your child is to ensure that this end, this opening, is not allowed to come in contact, for example, with closing, clothing and anything else that might block it. How are you doing inside now? It must be an essential requirement to make this fitting as less stress, as least stressful as possible. To take the respirator off, the first action is to unscrew the canister. The second action is to take hold of the diaphragm with both hands, pull well away from the face, and then very quickly over the head. Are you ready? Yeah. Off you go. The more confident your child becomes, the better. I would encourage you to ask your child to practice this on a daily basis at least when you can begin to build up the time of wear from perhaps a minute or so to start with to five or ten minutes. This can only overall increase confidence. Thank you, Faisa, and well done. To help me with the next end demonstration on fitting the young man's respirator, I've got Faisal. Hello, Faisal. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Jump up on the table. As before, it is very important to introduce the child gradually to the respirator and perhaps explain to him exactly what it is and the various parts. Notice on this respirator we have a well-defined harness and I'd like to make the point that it is the harness that secures and fits the respirator to the face and it has to be adjusted carefully. In particular, I would like you to notice this top strap, which is indeed a suspension strap, not a tightening strap. Are you ready? Yes. The first thing is to put the halter over the head and position the respirator roughly. As before, the harness is opened outwards with the thumbs. Will you place your thumbs in between the harness? Make a wide opening for your head Place your chin in the bottom of the respirator and over your head like a wetsuit hood. Well done. At this stage, the respirator is very loose and we can now fit it accurately. As before, we want to locate the face piece so that the eyes are in the centre of the lenses. We do this by holding the top suspension strap. Is that comfortable? Yes. Fine. I'm now going to ask Faisal to jump down so you can see how the harness is secured at the rear. Will you jump down and turn round? The harness and the harness face must be right down the back of the head on the same line as the spine. The first part of the harness to secure are the bottom tabs and these may be pulled and you will hear as they're tightened. Once we have secured these, we have made the firm adjustment to the face. Would you like to turn around now? The last part is to tighten up the side straps. I would now like to make a point about the harness, and that, it is, that is, it's very easy to over-tighten. Very simply, the harness straps need to be tight enough to gain a secure fit to the face. If you over tighten them, you run the risk of shutting off the sinuses and producing headache problems. So be, always be sure to ask your child, is that comfortable? Yes. If it isn't comfortable, then start again. We're now ready to confirm whether the respirator is secure to the face or not. And there is no other way than to blank off the bottom opening where the canister screws in. This can be traumatic to a child and it is advisable to talk to the child and tell them exactly what's going on. 
Now, I'm going to ask you to breathe in in a moment, and whilst you breathe in, I'm going to put my hand over this opening here. What will happen is that you will feel the mask collapse on your face. Are you ready? Yes. Breathe in. There we are. You may have heard the vacuum that was caused. That is a good fit, and we are now ready to introduce the canister. As before, with the canister, we make sure the dust bung has been removed from the front and the thread protector from the rear. Having done that, we make sure the openings are clear and we're ready to introduce it. OK? OK. I'm going to screw it gradually into your respirator and I want you to tell me at once if you feel unhappy. OK. How's your breathing? Fine. When tightening up the canister, Please also don't over tighten. Hand tight is quite sufficient. How do you feel now? Fine. The respirator is now fitted and ready for use. Some of you may decide to take the canister off. I strongly advise you, once you have the canister fitted to your respirator, keep it fitted and under no circumstances ever introduce the dust bung again. To take the respirator off, it's quite simple to slacken off the bottom straps by simply with the finger levering out the chromium buckle. The harness will then slip through and similarly the other side. You should only need to, sl to slacken off the bottom harness straps. Remember this top strap is for suspension and should not be touched at all. To remove the respirator, pull firmly forward and then very quickly over your head. Are you ready? Yes. Take the respirator off. How did you find that? Easy. Thank you very much, Faisal. I cannot stress how important it is to take fitting the respirator on your child or your wife in gradual and easy stages. The objective is to give your child or wife confidence. It is all too easy to frighten them by rushing into fitting the respirator. I now have Esan with me and we're going to demonstrate fitting the adult respirator. The method as before is to open up the elasticated harness as wide as possible. Place the chin in the lower part of the harness and pull the harness over the head like a wetsuit hood. Are you ready Esan? Yes. Thank you very much. Pull the harness out as far as you can, place your chin and over the face. Once it's on the face, you may wish to carry out some minor adjustment to avoid any puckering that might occur. Simply pull the respirator gently and it will find its position. As before, this centre strap here is to suspend the respirator over the face and I'm going to check that both eyeballs are in the center of the face piece lenses. In this case, they're fine. To carry out the tightening sequence, it's simply a question of pulling on these tightening tabs. But I'd like you to see the position of the harness at the rear. Would you stand up? Thank you. And if we look at the rear once more, we can see the plate of the harness is in the same direction as the spine. These tabs simply need to be pulled gently so that the elastication is finger tight only. Remember, over tightening the harness will only cause discomfort. Would you sit down please? The best method of adjusting the harness is to be exactly behind so that you can take hold of both tabs together. You then ask the person fitting to lean forward gradually. Would you lean forward? And as he leans forward, you pull gently on the tabs. Similarly, with the centre straps, would you lean forward? Check that they are only finger tight. Ask the person, do they hurt? No. We are now ready to carry out the confidence test. And as before, I will explain what is going to happen. I'm going to place my hand over your inlet valve and ask you to breathe in. When you breathe in, I hope that the face piece will collapse on your face. Are you ready, Hassan? Yes. Breathe in, please. 
and as you see, the face piece collapsed on the face, confirming an air seal. The next stage is to introduce the canister. And once again, we must make absolutely sure that the dust bung is away from the front. We must also make sure that the thread protector is off and there are no other seals or foreign bodies inside. This canister is clear and I'm ready to introduce it. Right, I'm going to introduce the canister to you, SN, in gradual stages. If at any time you are uncomfortable, I want you to say. How are you feeling? Okay. We tighten the canister simply finger tight. How do you find that? Remember, it is just as easy to frighten an adult as it is a child. And once the person has confidence in his respirator or her respirator, they will be able to use it the more willingly and become less stressed. Now, to remove the respirator, there are two simple actions. We take hold of the face piece at the front and pull well away from the face. The second action is to very quickly lift the face piece over the head. Are you ready, Esan? Yes. Yeah. Would you take off your mask, please? Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Before going on to the last respirator, I would like to talk briefly about beards, which I know of some great concern. It is desirable that people are clean-shaven. However, if you wish to retain your beard, it is still possible to gain an airtight seal with your respirator face piece. The method used is a similar method as used for diving. That is, apply Vaseline to your beard and smooth the beard out in one direction. Providing this is done, in most cases, you will be able to achieve a good, confident and gas-tight seal with your respirator. Finally, I would like to deal with the hood type of respirator. In this example, the hood is made of a latex rubber. As before, in fitting the respirator, it is important that the eye should end up in the position of the eyepieces. As with all respirators, this respirator is sized, with the largest being the size 5 and the smallest being the size 1. To start with, the fitter should ensure that roughly the shape and look of the hood respirator matches the shape and size of the person's head. We should carry out then a full examination of the hood and the openings to ensure that there is no packing inside. The method of donning is to make a hole large enough for the chin to go in and for the hood to go over the head without catching on the ears or hurting the hair, pulling the hair. As you saw there, the method of removal was to pull the face piece away from the face and then quickly pull it over the back of the head. In this way, we can ensure that the ears and the hair will not catch and cause pain. Once again, if pain is experienced when putting on or taking off the respirator, it will leave the person with a feeling of lack of confidence. So in your fitting, describe very carefully how important it is to make space for the head in the hood when it is opened out. Having carried out the basing fitting, the next step to confirm the fitting is to place on the canister and to carry out the confidence test. At this stage also, I would like you to notice this rear neck strap, which once the respirator has been correctly foot fitted, can be secured for long-term wear. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will not secure this uh, neck strap. As before with the canister, we take off the thread protector, ensure that there is nothing inside. We take off the dust bung, discard, and make sure, again, that there is nothing inside that could block the passage of air. The canister is then screwed into the canister mount.
I'm now ready to carry out the full confidence test. The respirator is now securely fitted and ready for use. In conclusion, I would like to confirm with you that all of the respirators that you've seen demonstrated are more than adequate with dealing with all of the known war gases. The secret lies in the sensible and confidence-inspiring fitting, which will encourage people to wear them more readily. Take time, fit, and after it's been fitted, try and wear the respirator every day, perhaps starting at five or 10 minutes, and building up gradually to reach 20 or 25 minutes. We all hope that nothing will happen, but being prepared can only be a positive measure when looking at the future. Remember and follow these important instructions. Once you receive your gas masks, make sure they fit you and all members of your family properly. Remove and discard the dust cap and thread protector from the canister and make sure there are no other obstructions. Install the canister and keep the mask ready for use at all times. Practice donning and wearing the masks so that you and all members of your family are familiar and comfortable with the procedure. In the event of an alarm, put your mask on immediately and proceed to shelter. In most cases, there will be ample time to reach shelter and avoid contamination. Once inside, the mask may be removed. However, you may continue to wear the mask if it makes you feel more secure. Gas mask canisters are designed for gross contamination concentration and are more than sufficient to meet the requirements of all eventualities. Listen to the radio. An all-clear announcement will be broadcast when the danger has passed. Remember, the effectiveness of your gas mask depends on the proper fit and use. Thank you very much for your attention, and I wish you all peace.